sure this disaster would be pretty anxious to sell. I don't know. A woman can get sentimental over a piece of string. This piece of string's been played out, then. And we're making a good offer. Nevertheless, we'd better make it in a charming manner. playing a tune on that axe. Look, how many times have I told you I can't deal seconds with callous fingers? Miss Crystal Cochran? Yes. I'm, uh... I'm Ben Calhoun, the president of the BPSB Railroad. It's Dave Tarrant, our construction engineer. How do you do? I'd like to talk to you about buying a right-of-way through your land. You want to buy this uh, graveyard? Well, it's a strip you wouldn't miss, sir. Well, gentlemen, not. It's no deal. The land isn't for sale. But you haven't heard the offer, miss. Right, and we do want to hear it. Uh, so uh, come in, uh, come in, gentlemen. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm John Burke. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Burke. Huh? Mr. Burke, it's a charming place you have here. A little ready cash and you could make it blossom in much the same manner as you have, ma'am. I'm flattered, Mr. Calhoun, but that's all. <laughs> Very well. It'll be a little more practical then. I'll give you $3,000 for the right-of-way. Half in cash, half in BPS and D stock. Yes, let's be practical, Mr. Calhoun. The answer is no. All right. I'll make it all cash. Uh, say now, I... The answer is still no. Thank you for your interest, gentlemen. I don't think you fully no. understand. Then you name a figure. I did. No sale. Good day, Miss Catherine. Are you out of your mind? That money could have got us out of this cemetery. Yeah, and into a real one. Uncle Johnny, this is still the best place to get lost in. We've tried it for six long months. We could lose ourselves in a big city. Yeah, until we needed money and you tried to get some with a deck of cards. About the fifth hand you played, he'd be coming in like a hound on a blood scent. Crystal, please, I... No, we've got to wait. Just hope somebody kills him before he kills us. for Mr. Diver. Who wants him? Mr. Jordan. Cal, somebody to see ya. Cal! You got a first name? Well, they just call me Mr. Jordan. I heard of a Mr. Jordan. Hired out as a town tamer. Tucson, El Paso, he was very particular about being called Mr. Are you? Oh, 
I was. <laughs> well, I guess I can just forget about that mister. Everybody else has. You wanted to see my husband? That's him. I represent the Sharps Rifle Company. I understand you're interested in some of our guns. Oh, you must be Mr. Jordan. Don't wait for his right hand, Diver. Jordan met a faster gun. Not a faster gun. A bushwhacker from 200 yards away. They make a good pair. Yeah, together they might make one good man. <laughs> I've got no time to waste on drummers. I've come a long way, Mr. Diver. That's your concern. <laughs> you really hit rock bottom when even he won't go, you missed it. Get out, drummer. You too, Ringer. <laughs> Get out. Goodbye, Sam. You too. You heard my husband. Extra grading. It'll cost us ten thousand dollars to run that line around the place. If we can get that right away for anything less, that's found money. Well, you just give me ten thousand reasons to try her again. And just to show my confidence in you, I'll start running a survey around her place. <laughs> well, getting a woman to change her mind's half the fun in life. Hey, man, she convinced me. You just can't win. Not this time. You want to bet? A thousand shares of BPS and D stock says I can get her to change her mind. Well, now, let's really make it worthwhile, huh? Five dollars, cash. Well, with that kind of money, I'll run those tracks right through her living room. Where are you going? Out. After him? Isn't it bad enough the way you carry on in the store? Do you have to follow him into the street? If you don't like it, why don't you tell him? You're my wife and I'm telling you. I didn't pick you out of the gutter. Marry you just to let some tin horn come along and pull us both down into the gutter. Where is all that respect you promised me, huh? When we walk down the street, all your respectable friends laugh at us. When I walk down the street with Sam Ringer, Nobody dares laugh. Hey, Jordan. Yes? Yes, Mr. Ringer. Yes, Mr. Ringer. <laughs> Tell me, peddler. How fast were you when they used to call you, mister? The day has passed when I could show you. All right. Take your drink, peddler. Reach for it. <laughs> Were you ever that fast? Yes, Mr. Ringer. Don't turn your back on me, peddler. You are a very tough young man. <laughs> He's laughing at you, Sam. He's got no respect for you. <laughs> and that's enough! All right, go ahead, fella. 
you want to hang. out of here with three thousand dollars now we'll be lucky if we get out with our hides maybe he's just passing through we're gambling a lot on that maybe you know if he knew he'd be out here by now say no, Miss Cochran. Just hear me out. You don't have to say anything more, Mr. Calhoun. But at least give me a chance to explain. You already have. Already have what? Explain. You can have my land. Uh, you've got a real silver tongue, Mr. Calhoun. Thank you, sir. I also can recognize a mine when it's been salted. What made you change your mind? You're getting the land. What difference does it make? Three thousand. Cash. Cash will mean another 48 hours. I have to go to scalp lock and get it. All right. But in 48 hours, there's no sale. In the meantime, I want you to send somebody out here to stay until you get back. Could I ask why? I'm making it part of our deal, Mr. Calhoun. All right, Miss Cochran. You'll have your bodyguard. I guess you might call it a blessing in disguise. Six months ago, I'd have killed him. I would have brought two more guns just like him, looking for me. Yeah, I guess I understand. Look, I never was much at singing, thanks. I had too much practice. Best in our line. Well, it's, it's beautiful, Mr. Jordan. I can't accept it. Well, I wish you would. I helped design it back when no offense, Menace, but I think that's a pretty good reason why I don't need one. No one says you have to use it on anything except rattlesnakes, bobcats. Thanks, Mr. Jordan. You did more for me. Go. You owe me five dollars. Oh, now don't tell me it worked. You mean that famous charm of yours did the trick? I don't think charm had anything to do with it. I think it was fear. She wants to get out of there fast. A fear of what? I didn't ask her. I just made the deal, part of which included one of us staying out there for protection. You're going to have to ride to scalp lock and pick up the money. Oh, no. What do you mean, no? Well, I, I kind of like her. Well, she is in trouble. No. She is trouble, I think. Yeah, well, I can take care of myself. You have a nice ride to scalp lock, Ben. Why does it always happen to the practical ones? You take that out there with you, it'll inspire confidence.
Listen, I don't mean to pry, but can you give me any idea of what I'm supposed to look out for for the next 48 hours? For me. Well, that'll be a pleasure. How about the next 72 or 120? In 48 hours, I'll be gone. Well, anything can happen in two days. I once built a bridge in Wes. Ben won a railroad. And my father met and married my mother. All in the two days. Mind boiled chicken, warmed over? Anything after railroad food's a feast. you to get out and stay out. I came here to do a job. You're a poor excuse for a hired gun. I knew you were crippled. I didn't know you were yellow, too. The fee is $500. You've already proved you couldn't handle it. Can't handle a little mouse like that? Ringo wouldn't waste a shot on you. Have the money ready, Mr. Diver. Our deal was $500 cash on delivery. He'll be delivered. Pigtails, Dave. Uncle Johnny came charging to the rescue and took me along with him. Where? Oh, a lot of places. Doing a lot of things. Professionally speaking, I'm a singer. Well, it's hard to find an audience out here, isn't it? Uh, well, we uh, thought we'd take a vacation. Cleaning house and dishes and chopping wood? Crystal. What are you hiding from? Dave, I haven't sung a note in months. Would you like to hear me sing? If you don't want me to ask you questions, just say so. Yes, I'd like to hear you sing very much. Thank you. <sighs> it's going to be fun to dress up again. Give me 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Presenting Crystal Cochran.
reason in the world why somebody like you has to be afraid of anything. Right now, I'm not. Except maybe of you. Crystal, all you have to do is tell me to go. I haven't heard anything. I haven't said anything. I can believe you built a bridge in less than two days. I was in a big hurry to get to the other side. Oh, I'm sorry. If it was that bad, let me try again. Crystal? Crystal? Crystal. Send him away. We need him. As a target? We can't do this to him. It wasn't your fault. There was nobody else out there, Burke. Yes, there was. A rancher she was going to marry in Denver eight months ago. Killed on his way to church. And he, he still means that much to her? Before that, a farmer. A little old farmer. Let everybody know that he loved her. He didn't get a chance to ask her to marry him. He'd been face down in a creek three days before he was found. I don't follow. But they, she doesn't want this to happen to you. You've been acting up for the all night. I'm going home. He had a big day. Beat like a dog. You must be tired. I lost a fist fight is all. You lost a whole town. How you were lying there with your face in the dirt, me trying to get you to your feet so you'd look like a man again. Everybody was laughing at you. Who laughed? Who? What's it matter? Everybody knows that railroad fella can beat you any time he wants to. Well, next time. Tomorrow, it'll be different. My way. Good morning, Mr. Ringer. I'm on my way to see a railroad man. I've got no time for you, peddler. The name is Mr. Jordan. What do you do now, Mr. Ringer? You're not answering the peddler's questions, Mr. Ringer. No good thinking of running. You wouldn't have time to turn around. Your young lady would be ashamed of Mrs. Diver? That railroad fella. He beat Ringer up yesterday and said Jane murdered him. If he did, we'll find out about it. Come on, Tom. Take him inside, boys.
Birch, I can't wait all day for her to come out. She sleeps uh, late. Yeah. Tell her I'll be keeping an eye on her. I'll be up there on that ridge making a rough survey. I'll do that. him away? No. Why? I told you, we need him. If Jordan comes out here, what do you want me to do? Play poker with him? We can't involve Dave. He's already involved. He's part of the land deal. Look, Crystal, I can deal cards, but I can't fight. I told you that. Every time a saloon brawl starts, I, I crawl under the table. I, I never was brave. Now I'm... I'm over 50 years old. Crystal. Look. If Jordan comes out here, I, I can't help you. Maybe Dave can. I won't take that risk. You feel that way about this railroad man? After only one day? Well, how long are these things supposed to take? If you want him to know... You're going to have to tell him. Careful, Moore. Put that rifle down. Yeah? What's your name, mister? My name's Dave Tarrant. You know a man by the name of Ringer? He put in a charge against me for roughhousing him? Well, he won't be able to put in a charge. He's been shot, killed. And you've been accused. By whom? Mrs. Diver. Well, that's not too smart of a sheriff. I've been out to Cochran Ranch all last night and today. Well, now, she'll tell that to the judge. You got no problems. Take Miss Cochran into town. You come with me. No, Crystal. If you go into town, he'll know we're here. He'll kill us. You'll have lots of time for running while I'm in town. It wouldn't be any fun running without you, Crystal. I know you have your suspicions, but you see, this man proved Tarrant couldn't have done it. Well, I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Tarrant. It's all right, Sheriff. Uh, come on, Dave. I've got the horses. All right, Burke. I'll be right out with you. I see you're out of trouble. I was coming to see if I could help. 
That is, if a character reference from a drummer would carry much weight. Thanks for the thought. Looking for somebody? Well, yes, there was a, there was a man out here with my horse, I thought. Well, the uh, man just left. He looked like he had the very devil on his tail when he took off. You know him? Yeah, he's a friend of a young lady we're buying some land from. Well, uh, if you're not in as big a hurry as he was, I'd like to buy you a drink. You did it? No, I didn't. It doesn't matter. I'm leaving town anyway. Well, that matters to me. Well, there's not much we can do about it, Sheriff. We didn't see him. I think right now this man needs a doctor. Oh, easy now. Sorry about that drink, Dave. That's something else I owe you. Huh. Who keeps count, Mr. Jordan? It's easy for me. That side of my ledger isn't very full. I make a point of paying everybody back. How do you mean that? Both ways. Jordan, you must have some idea who tried to nail you. No, Sheriff. I've got a longer list than you've got years to track them down. Even now? Well, when can you convince young show-offs that if they did get what I had, they'd have nothing? Well, the doc will put a patch on this for you, Mr. Jordan. You'll be okay. Sure. I'm going to be getting back to the ranch. Take care of yourself. Well, Dave. Yeah. Thanks again. better with a handgun than I could with a rifle. Burke, why? He shot the man you're here to protect me from. Jordan. Mr. Jordan. You know him? I was his girl, by his choice. I was supposed to dissolve with love every time he killed a man. If you know that much about him, you ought to know he's a cripple. He's not a cripple. Well, he was shot, but it healed. Is that why he wears his hand as a claw, as a decoration? He got tired of facing every kid who wanted to make a reputation by killing Mr. Jordan. He was afraid one day one of them might do it. But Claw lets him pick his own time and place for killing. If that's true, what was I supposed to do? Get killed by him to buy you some more running time? Yes, Dave. That was the idea. Uh, until she started thinking more of you than our skins. Never mind. No. She wanted to send you away last night. I wouldn't let her. How do you feel about it today? Believe anything you want, ma'am. What I want to believe in can are two different things. All I see is a man who acts like a cripple, who gets himself beaten up to avoid trouble, and gets bushwhacked in the street. Look, I have no apologies. He killed two men because they loved her. She won't be free until he's dead. I'm sorry. You don't believe us. I don't know. Dave, believe me. I've got to hear Jordan's side first. Crystal, please understand me. I'm... I'm a logical person. Dave, I know what you are. I just wanted to tell you that when you get back, we won't be here.
They've really got me fenced in. I want to prove that you're telling the truth, Crystal. And if I do, I'll probably get my head blown off for it. Dave, please, stay out of it. Either way, I can't win. Either way, I can't stay out of it. down without a chance. No, I didn't. You had to. He was shot in the chest. You aren't fast enough to beat him to the draw. Nobody was fast enough to beat Sam Ringer. There's somebody fast enough. Nobody. Mr. Jordan. <laughs> Are you trying to blame that cripple? to win, Jordan. It's what I don't intend to lose. Crystal, what was ever so bad about me wanting love from you? Love? All you really want from people is fear. All right, it hurts you to lose. Well, you just lost. I'm not afraid of you anymore. And you're not going to have me bushwhacked anymore. Just a minute, Jordan. Just a minute. I'm the one who bushwhacked you. I'm the one who's responsible for that hand. There was no other way, Crystal. I knew that when he gunned down that farmer. Your hands are as important to you as mine are to me. Let's see how you get along without yours. <laughs> Your deal, Tin Horn.
here. That's good advice, Dave. Take it. I guess I don't stand a chance against you, do I, Jordan? None, Dave. None at all. You had me liking you for a while. When you felt sorry for me? Till you found out I wasn't a cripple? Until I found out you were lying about it. it didn't start out as a lie. Burke did cripple me. You know, for a while it almost felt good not having to gamble against every show-off that wanted to prove something with my hide. That's when I took up drumming guns. Seems to me you had an easy way out. Why didn't you stay with it? My hand started coming back to me. Something else came back with it. It's kind of a hunger that being a good drummer can't feed. And it's hard to give up your place on top, Dave. But nobody knew? I knew. Well, if that's what you need, Jordan, why don't you take it out on fellas like Ringer? Why take it out on a woman? Don't you understand she's part of it? Let me take Crystal. Dave, you're the only one who ever did anything for me I didn't make him do. You're the only one who ever did anything out of friendship. Don't make me kill you, Dave. Why couldn't you ever have felt that way about me, Crystal? Get out of the way, Dave. I won't plant the next one in your shoulder. I'll shoot right through you. I can put two bullets in you before you pull that trigger, Dave. You better start. didn't want to kill me. Oh, where to, Mrs. Diver? Is there a town on your line called Respect. No, ma'am. I'll go as far as that'll take me. Then the 3,000 isn't just for the right of way. I'm giving you the whole ranch. <laughs> well, I don't think Dave or myself, either one, could accept a gift like that. We'll buy it off of you, and at a fair price. But I'm afraid you'll have to take part of it in, uh, in stock. <laughs> but it'll be worth a fortune someday. Crystal. Why don't you wait around and watch it grow? You know I want to, Dave, but I owe it to Burke. When he can take care of himself again, I'll come back. Charming partner.
and Iron Horse returns next week at four when four railroad construction workers are mysteriously killed. Return to Treasure Island is in an hour's time at six, setting out across the high seas. But first this afternoon on Sky One, let's join stars Ben Murphy and Marshall Colt for more adventure in Lottery. That's next. Thank you.